you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but Arduino. A journey into the wondrous land of imagination. Next stop, the FPGA zone. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, what's happening, guys? I think we got everything we need to really play with this uh, FPGA VDOR stuff. So I think this is the correct adapter. There's the board. There is an HDMI screen. Power it up. Works. So, still there is not a lot of documentation here for this. I did find a little bit of information on how to uh, use the HDMI. And that's what we're going to try today. We're going to start with the uh, built-in example. And if things go my way, we're going to expand on that. Hey, hey, I think we got a winner. So, you're in this with me from the beginning. There's no guarantees. Hell, I might not even publish this if it doesn't work. So I might just be talking to uh, myself and the uh, fish. Let's go over to the computer and take a look at the libraries we're going to need. Okay, I will uh, put a link to this page down below. But this is the official uh, Arduino information on the uh, Maker VDOR. So if we scroll on down past all the setup stuff, we get to the libraries. All you need to do is go into your library manager and uh, search. Oops. Search VDOR. Just like it says right there. And it will pop in those three libraries. So once we've done that, we're going to come down here and check out this uh, Draw Arduino logo. And you can see it's explaining the code to you. But what I like here is that uh, these are very similar to the code or to the uh, formatting and syntax we use with the uh, TFT uh, LCD screens. So there shouldn't be too much of a learning curve here. All right, so let's uh, let's pop up the Duino. And we'll go here, sketch, include library, manage libraries. Yes, yes, update your list, okay. Then we pop in the old VDOR there. And uh, when I installed this, it did them all. So we have USB blaster, VDOR graphics, VDOR peripherals, Wi-Fi antenna. It didn't do this one because I'm guessing we don't need it. Anyway, here is that demo code to draw the logo on the screen. You can see that we have uh, those two libraries we need there. And then this is our library setup called VDOR GFX. And then we'll just be addressing it as VDGFX. So that's the uh, uh, HDMI monitor we have. Now here in the setup, we're waiting for the serial port to power up, and then most importantly, we're initializing the FPGA, and we're waiting four seconds. Then in the main part of the program, that's where we, we're going to uh, draw the logo. So, I mean, there's a code for it. Text set alpha one, text size three. That's all there is. There's nothing much going on here. So uh, let me get this uploaded to the board, and uh, I'll take you over there where I do it so we can see uh, if it works or not. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, HDMI cable into HDMI adapter. Check. Other end of HDMI cable into HDMI screen 
check. Voltage source for HDMI screen, check. And we're going to need the cable to the computer. Check. Well, how about that? Oh, you probably can't even see that, can you? And turn off this screen. Oh. There was something there. Now it's gone. Okay, anyway. Let's go over to the computer. I'm going to leave this camera running too. All right, oh, there's that doggone light again. Okay, so tools. Board is the Vidor 4000. Com port is on the right com port. Uh, let's ship it. See what we get. Compiling sketch, eh? This may take a few seconds. Uh, in that time, I would like to throw out a massively huge thank you to Michael from Oklahoma once again. Uh oh, here we go. Uploading. Michael sent us some more goodies, which you'll be seeing very soon. Compiling sketch and a possible error. Okay, looks like something's happening. Hey, there it is. There it is, success. I can't thank uh, Michael enough. He sent us stuff in the past. So if you guys wouldn't mind, in the comment section, can we just get a thank you, Michael? Okay, I don't know why the board reset itself. Let's, uh, let's, let's I think it's the reset button, right? What's happening here? Hmm. All right, let's dispower that. <laughs> dispower that. Power that guy back up. Power up here. And there she is again. Let's see if it goes away. It is going away again. Why is it doing that? Is there not an, there might not be enough power for my power bank. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's try a different one. I think I have one sitting here. Oh, Windows, no, I don't want to change that. Yes, we'll try a different power bank. See if that makes any difference. No. No, it doesn't. All right. Let's try this. Okay. And it fades away again. Right, let's look at the code. see anything like a like a like a, a clear screen or a fade out or anything that's weird all right let's think about this for some more pesky light still not really okay now we got it now we got it. Ah, that light. I think we're getting somewhere. Woo. Focus. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I just changed and print some text there. 
it was a uh, it wasn't initializing the serial port on the computer for some reason so it was hung up there but now it's working so we now have an Arduino that is using the uh, that Cyclone 10 FPGA as an HDMI chip and we can make ourselves a really nice little package with an HDMI monitor so that is progress now you guys who followed for a while you know I'm a hardware guy not a software guy so coding isn't my thing um, I know there's a program out there called Quartus that you use to uh, program these these FPGAs so I'm gonna have to dig into that a little bit to find out but for now progress has been made we have an Arduino that outputs HDMI that's that's huge I mean yeah I know Raspberry Pis do it every day but from an Ar Arduino that didn't you know the Uno which really had no graphics capabilities at all we now have HDMI so that's pretty cool hey hang on one second I'll give you a sneak preview of something ready one two three that's one of the things that Michael sent us and you'll be seeing that soon now also in the Teespring store, uh, you guys, some of you said you know, that was an expensive first shirt. I agree. I can't do anything about it. But I did add a couple more things if you want to support the channel. There's now a coffee mug with a wonderful saying on it and a die cut sticker. Who doesn't like stickers? Well, I know your wife doesn't like stickers, but hey, we're dudes. We like stickers. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on this bumpy little ride with us today i appreciate it feel free to like comment share don't forget to subscribe big thanks to everybody i love you guys man you know your friends your family we're here we're learning we're having a good time all right that's it i'm out peace